Hi, and welcome to my video about my thrift store fabric haul, a little discussion about how I buy my fabric, and um, some plans I have for some of the fabric. So you will, this last haul I've got was less than $7. Now let me explain a little bit about this head of no hair that I've got. I uh, finished my chemo May 9th and my hair is just now starting to grow back. Um, a little whiter than it was before, but uh, I made it through the chemo uh, for kidney cancer. Anyway, uh, let's get right into the fabric haul because I was so excited about this one. Now, I have to, you know, do my sewing and everything uh, on a budget. So it is seldom that I actually go to the fabric store and purchase fabric. I generally go to our local thrift stores and I have uh, quite a bit of fabric um, thanks to the thrift stores. I have one thrift store in particular that does a wonderful job of, of pricing their fabric. So I'm going to show you what all I got for $7. So first, and some of these I need to wash, but I wanted you to see the prices first. In fact, I wash them all when I get them. So let me see if we can see that price. Okay. That's actually a green tag, but um, you should be able to see this was 25 cents. It is, I'll show you this way. It's got bird houses on it. It's about two yards. Now my grandmother used to tell me that holding out fabric like this would be approximately a yard and this is doubled up. So I am, the fabric is kind of stiff. I plan on washing it and if it softens up, uh, what I'm working on now are scarves for chemo patients. Um, where I go for where I went for chemo they had a lot of knit hats and quite a few even um, fleece hats but during the summer here in Georgia those are kind of warm so we need something a little lighter weight and cotton I got a quarter inch uh, hemming foot that works great and the other thing I found, because I've got kind of a big head, is that most of the scarves that I purchased weren't large enough, at least none of the square ones. And the square ones were really kind of fun to wear. So I figured all these bright colors, um, even though it'll be kind of unusual as far as some of the houses may be upside down basically, but um, when you tie it on your head, uh, that the bright colors would come out and it might make a nice scarf if in fact it does get lighter. I think this is actually like a gauze. So I think that would be really good. Some of these, if the fabric's a little heavier, um, I'll make like a triangular scarf instead of a square scarf. And, because when you use a square scarf, you make it into a triangle anyway. But if it's a lighter weight fabric, I will do all of I'll do it all as a square. Now this piece was 50 cents and I just thought the blue and white would also make just a cute cute scarf and I make about it depends upon how wide the fabric is if it's a 60 inch fabric I might be able to get two scarves out of a yard but generally I'm cutting them out 36 by 36 uh, because even if they're bigger than you need, you can make some nice little knots. And I'll, I'll do a video um, pretty soon on how I do my scarf. Uh, but this is about, about a yard of, I think, 60 inch wide fabric. So 50 cents for that. Pretty good for a scarf there. Here... This also was, let me put it right side up, 50 cents. And again, um, these are my one yard pieces. Uh, this one was one and a quarter, no, one yard, two inches, which is perfect. Again, I think this will be a really cute, 
um, scarf to wear lightweight so those are oh and I have one more uh, this one I think is about a yard it might be two yards I don't know but um, I'm thinking no it's sometimes this particular piece forgot to show you another one that looks black but it's actually green let me see if I can make it so you can see that uh, this was a quarter and sometimes the quarter ones are sort of bits they might be bits and pieces I usually unfold uh, them to see what they are but um, it appeared that this one would have enough of this green fabric uh, let me see if I can looks black here green for some reason is looking black today but um, this is a green fabric that I thought if it softens up when I wash it will also make a good scarf and I'll just you know get rid of these little scraps so those are my scarf fabrics I got another bit of fabric for a quarter and there we go and I had a sort of a country themed uh, autumn colored piece that I had bought that has like a lot of different squares that I thought would make a cute lap quilt easy to make I'm not a big quilter um, and this fabric I thought would make a wonderful band for it it'll go really well with it so that's my plans for it there wasn't uh, there's not a long enough piece here for me to make a scarf out of so this is going to be for my lap quilt I don't have plans for all of these things but um, some of them are just for my stash now this piece was 50 cents and <laughs> this piece I love it um, I know the person who does this pricing and I think they price by what they like so if they're not very fond of it um, it's going to be priced like this one 50 cents but let me show you the amount of fabric if I can here this is probably two and a half yards and I'm guessing it's also 60 wide so see it's a little eyelet light pink um, I love eyelet material don't know yet what I'll make out of that maybe just a nightgown or something I don't know but um, for two and a half yards for 50 cents I think that can go in my stash now this one again 50 cents I don't think she liked the color I believe it's it's a good color for me uh, but maybe not for everybody it's the fabric has a linen look to it but I think it's probably polyester or some kind of blend not a real linen uh, but I have gotten actually real real silk before they just didn't know it was real silk for next to nothing so this one I think is probably three yards for 50 cents yeah <laughs> see all that fabric I mean it might even be four I don't know again probably 60 inches wide uh, just a steal just a steal I'm trying to see if you can see the uh, texture there now this one is is a tad wrinkled but I think the print is really cute and that's what I'm missing in my stash are, are prints and non-cotton non-wovens so that's 50 cents and I think this one is probably at four yards and here's the here's the print it's on I think it's actually on a navy blue background colors don't always turn out well and it's got a border so I haven't done a lot with the border print and Lord I think this seems to be well if I could get the right end 
almost seems like it's more than 60 inches wide. No, probably 60 inches wide. So border on one side and print on the other. So, I mean, and it's it's wonderful. I think this might be a rayon. Let's see if we can get any kind of texture going here. But you can see it's it's real flowy. It'll make a lot of, I mean, I'll probably, I mainly wear blouses and jeans, so um, I don't know, maybe I'll make a few dresses to wear around. And this is a printed jersey. Oh, let me show you the price. This was a little bit more, but I thought it was worth it. It's a whole... Dollar fifty. Yeah, I think she liked this print a little better than the others. Again, sixty inches, probably two yards, I would say, at sixty inches. Yeah, I forgot I had my um, cutting mat under here. I could be measuring this. So two yards is what this is for a dollar fifty. I think that was a pretty good price. And I was I was wanting some um, you know jersey that had flowers or some kind of something other than I've got some plain jerseys out there. This is pretty lightweight, flowy. I think it'll be marvelous. And then oh, I was going to say my last piece, but it's not. Okay, another. Believe it or not, dollar fifty. I have no idea. This one I've got two pieces. All right, there's this piece, and let me show you the the print. And the colors and the print, they're just perfect for me. I just love them. So, this piece is one, two, three yards. So this one piece for the dollar fifty is three yards, and look at how nice that is. I, I'm just not sure of what all these fabrics are, but but they're gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Um, and then, and like I said, I needed more prints, so I was really happy to get these. And I have another piece that is uh, probably about a yard and a quarter. Let's see. Let's see here. One. Oh, maybe one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. So, let's see. Did I say three yards? Four and a half yards for a dollar fifty of this fabric? Why go to Joann's? Why go anywhere else when you can get fabric like that for that price? And then this one, this one's a killer. It's 50 cents. Um, this one's 45 inches wide. Yeah, it's not quite as wide as some. And it's just a chambray. So there's two yards. I'd say about three and a half yards for 50 cents. So I know that's a plain color, but I thought for that price, I, you know, what can I say? I'm going to take the smaller piece of this green one here and turn it in. I believe I'm going to turn, you know, make a few scarves out of this because I think the pattern would be great for a scarf. So that was it. That's what I got. Well, oh, I got one more thing that's sewing related. And for a quarter, I got a 22 inch invisible zipper. I always like to grab those up when they're available um, because, you know. So I have not, this is the first uh, time that I have done a video with this camera and I know that I have a lot of things to fine-tune I 
purchase glasses that aren't supposed to, uh, they're supposed to be anti-glare, but I see glare. So I can see this close pretty good uh, without my glasses, but this, this is better. I am 64 years old, retired, uh, still recovering from chemo. So I don't have plans to do a lot of sewing in the next couple weeks, but uh, when I get my energy all back, then I plan on doing a lot of sewing. I, I bought several patterns, um, both at the thrift store. I got some really nice silhouette patterns for a quarter each. And then I got some um, on a simplicity sale at uh, Hobby Lobby, I believe it was, for $1.99 each. So uh, I have plenty of patterns to use on all this lovely fabric. So my husband thinks I'm crazy that I have enough fabric. Uh, whose husband doesn't? <laughs> but maybe someday he'll learn that there's never enough fabric. So I appreciate anybody who has bothered to watch this video through to the end, and I plan on doing more videos in the future. Uh, it'll be about several items. I am going to do a series about the the kidney cancer and the chemo and the you know what what I went through. So anybody who has gone through that kind of thing can uh, relate. I it was hard for me to find videos on the exact one I had and the exact chemo I went through. So I plan on doing that just to share with anybody who's going through that also. But anyway, um, I hope you all have a great day. If you have ideas on what I should do with some of this fabric, please feel free to list it below. And always be kind in your comments to myself and to others. God bless you. Bye.